I'm so happy, I am so happy to welcome you today at Barnet's Black History Month. So today is about celebrating Black History Month. It's the first time in Barnet that we've formally been able to do that and that has been very much driven by actually the new administration coming into post because there was a proposal, a motion presented to full, full council by Councillor Linda Lusingu asking that Barnet Council actually adopt um, celebrations of Black History Month formally as part of the council's programme of activities. What we've done is we've got a mixture of local stalls provided by community organisations, faith organisations, local enterprises and businesses and upstairs we've got a whole celebration of events, we've got pre presentations from local dignitaries, um, MPs and um, the Assembly member as well as the Mayor of the Mayor of Barnet. You know, to be honest, it's a really emotional day for us because Black History Month is something we've always celebrated quietly in Barnet. But what this has enabled us to do is really celebrate and, and make real the voices of local communities. I am incredibly proud to have come and welcomed everyone to Barnet's Black History Month Jamboree. Um, it's the first time in 20 years that we've really had the council leading during Black History Month. It's a hugely important part of our lives and uh, the programme today is packed full of fabulous people of colour who are telling their stories, who are singing, who are celebrating, who are talking about some of their challenges and their adversities. Um, but it's really important we come together, acknowledge that past, celebrate the future together and um, make sure that Black History Month continues in October every year um, but actually that every day of every year that we celebrate each other's achievements and work together for the future. A huge amount of energy there's some loads of fantastic projects that I've been hearing about so it's just great to be here. We're a Seawolf and we're a small business we only started about a year ago and we try to bring authentic Caribbean rum punch to the UK because naturally people class rum punch as juice and alcohol but to us Caribbean people it's a bit more than just that. Um, so with our rum punch we've got like um, citrus which we freshly squeezed, uh, it's got syrup, it's also got a blend of different rums and spices and that's all incorporated in there and uh, this to us is authentic rum punch. Today has been very inspirational. Um, we've seen and heard from a lot of powerful people in the community, um, which is very uplifting as, as black people in the UK. And it's nice to see where we are now in 2022. We've come a long way. We've got a long way to go, but it's, it's very encouraging and it's, it's just a nice space. So it's been a really good, a good, um, just a good day overall. <laughs> I wanted to write from a long time ago, didn't have the maybe courage to do so. So I decided two years ago to start writing. I've now self-published 12 books. Um, lots of them are poetry collections, but I also write children's stories with really strong black characters, um, mainly because I believe that you know you can't be what you can't see. And also in order just to make sure that books, most children should always be a hero in their own story. And I find with lots of books, they don't usually show that kind of side for everyone to feel inclusive in reading, which sometimes can actually stop children from reading. I've met so many really wonderful people. I've actually met somebody who might be my new illustrator, networking, connections. Um, but it's just really nice to see that everybody's united together to celebrate Black History Month. So in terms of Black History Month, I think it's so important that this month exists so we can share stories. <laughs> stories from everywhere. <laughs> stories from Africa, South, East and West. Stories from the Caribbean, from the diaspora, from South America, everywhere. Because these are all important stories that in fact need more than a month. They need a year, more than a year. They need the rest of our lives to be told. I'm a freelance book illustrator and portrait artist. I also do photography, although you won't find my photography here um, at the moment because I will be exhibiting it at my next exhibition, which will be in Fairway Hall. This is an activity notebook that I designed and illustrated. 
it's got like summaries of each of the queens. It's got a word search, crossword, quiz, some coloring ins, and of course, it's a notebook, so you can um, make notes in it. It's practical in that way. The business is established in 2015. Uh, this is promoting purely environment friendly products, and which is uh, helpful to the land well being and uh, in environment sustainability and providing employment for a rural community. Uh, and you can see these products. It can be handmade and it can be uh, reusable and biodegradable. Uh, now this is expanding and uh, providing this business. It's also a variety of other products which has come from th this. These are made out of palmera leaf, palm leaf. A natural product from Sri Lanka and South Asia, also Africa. And these are the traditional products which used in all day, all time. These are very healthy products. And then you can see this is made out of coconut shell. Uh, and other than that, we have a palm jaggery, which is substitute for uh, sugar. I'm to a point where we don't need Black History Month. But then when you've got a borough like Barnet that's doing something on this scale for the very first time, it kind of highlights the reason why it's still important to have Black History Month, so that you can have a focus on diversity and the richness that diversity brings to the borough and how important it is that we have fairness and equality and equity, you know, in everything that we do. And it's wonderful that, you know, Barnet has now passed a motion and that it's now going to be investment and every year it will just get bigger and bigger so I'm really pleased to be here for the first one. The higher you build your barriers, the taller I become. The farther you take my rights away, the faster I will run. You can deny me, you can choose to turn your face away, no matter because there's something inside so strong. The more you refuse to hear my voice, the louder I will sing. You hide behind walls of Jericho, your lies will come tumbling. You squander wealth that's mine, deny my place in time. My light will shine so brightly, it will blind you. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been a wonderful day and a enjoyable celebration. I think with Black History Month there's two parts of it. One is to celebrate but one is also a learning experience. Um, ideally, as um, Dawn Butler said, you wouldn't have a Black History Month because Black History would be integral to the learning experience of all people in, in, in Britain. But until we get to that point, we need events like this. And the importance of celebration is to say Barnet's a better place because of its black residents, because of its Indian residents, because of its Muslim residents. It's actually being proud of, of all of our residents. So long I've searched for life meaning and slept by the world of my queen. Then the door of my prison was opened by prayer for the ransom was paid I was free.